Hey guys, my name is Captain Fructose, and welcome back to City Skylines. We are working on our lovely little city in the Prussian mountainside, which I have been informed. Uh, Prussia doesn't exist anymore, but we're bringing it back. At least in this game. <laughs> Uh, and there's a few of you that actually commented and said to put some names on the streets. So, we are going to do that. So, one of them, let's name this one. So, Cook Street is now going to be Useless Street. Perfect. That is now Useless Street. And then this one. Oh, wait, that one's also Useless Street. What the freak? Okay. Holy crap, Useless Street is really long. Okay. Anna Harvey Street is now going to be Javier Selby Street. There we go. Oh, wait. I'm going to put a space. Wait. Give me a second. No, I got this. I got this. I got this. Aha. Okay. Perfect. There's Javier Selby Street, and there is Useless Street. So... For future reference, if you want to name a street, make sure you leave a comment, and I will use that name for the street. So, those are two new streets. as Javier Selby Street and Useless Street. So, anyway, back to what we were doing. Our city is demanding more residential, apparently. More people want to move into our awesome city, because it's just that awesome, apparently. So, we will go ahead and zone in some more. Whoa, that one turned into Javier Selby Street. What the freak? Well, okay then. That was going to be a long road. All right, so that is... Okay, good. That is all in the water. We are still making money as well, which is good because we definitely need to make money because we need the money to be able to build things for our city. So let me check on our school availability. Our high school is good. Our elementary school is good. We have uh, plenty of police, fire... We are in pretty good shape when it comes to fire. Health care is looking pretty good. Death care is looking pretty good. Uh, what about our garbage system? Not bad, actually. It's looking fairly good. I'm going to put in some recycling centers, though, because I don't want to fill up the entire freaking um, dump. So we'll put in one more of those. That's going to cost a little bit to run, but hopefully with all the new people moving in, this should pay for itself. And it'll help get rid of all of that. And yeah. So, our, what is our electricity looking like? Ooh, it's not looking great. I think it is time for a second power plant, which we'll put in right there. Because of the bonus they gave us when we got um, upgraded to a bigger city. So, or got the award? The award? I think it's the award. Alright, so that gives us two power plants, which means we can actually expand more without having to worry so much about electricity. Or at least as much about electricity as we have in the past. But we do need more commercial, so let's zone in some more commercial there. Uh, we still have... Oh! We just got upgraded again. Busy Town. So we unlocked city planning policies, level 4 unique buildings, oil industry specialization, free public transport, helicopter priority, that's all the new stuff, new roads, new power plants, fire helicopter, pumping station, weather radar... Police headquarters, tsunami warning buoys, and all kinds of fun stuff. Sweet. Okay, that is awesome. I like that. We should probably put in bus transportation. Lynch Square is getting a little big. We may need to start zoning some new. Actually, you know what? D zone this. I'm thinking probably along that road there. We'll just D zone that. Group. We'll just do that. D zone. This will be a new zone. Or a new what a new district. There we go. Belmont District Policies. City planning. Heavy traffic ban. What's fast recovery? That's new. In these areas, the emergency response unit does not search for survivors, but only makes the lost ready for rebuilding. More citizens are lost, but the city recovers faster. Ooh. Okay. And no rebuilding. Forbid rebuilding on lots with destroyed buildings. Lots have to be manually bulldozed to allow rebuilding. I don't want that. Either one of those. Helicopter priority. No, we're not going to worry about that. Okay, I just wanted the heavy traffic ban, honestly. 
Uh, ooh, we're gonna need to uh, adjust this slightly right there. Oh, it's okay if it goes over here. I don't mind if it goes over there, but we need to make sure that this road is not included in this because otherwise it'll ban heavy traffic, and that's the only way for the heavy traffic to get to our industrial area. So, let's do a heavy traffic ban in the city. Perfect, no more trucks. I can finally sleep at night and let the hashtag kids hashtag play in the yard. Thanks, Mayor, at Mayor, anti-trucker. Oh, at Mayor, hashtag anti-trucker. Okay. <laughs> okay. <coughs> <coughs> All right, how's our electricity looking? Still good. How's our water situation? Not, not terrible, actually. Uh, I think we're still in f fairly good shape. There's no death care over here, but that's all right. We don't really need death care in the industrial area. It's just over here. Fire. Fire, fire, fire. I should probably put in some more fire departments. Maybe. Crime is low. That's not even covered over here. There's, like, not even anything to cover this area. So we'll put that in. That'll help raise line values anyway. So we'll put that in there. Uh, the elementary stool. Uh, elementary stool. The elementary school is starting to get full, though. How much is this? Fifty thousand dollars. Upkeep is nineteen hundred a week. The noise pollution five, but it puts out one hundred and twenty megawatts. That's a lot compared to what these ones are putting out. Anyway, I really want to build a dam though because I feel like that's going to be their best bet. Is that a boat? What the freak? How long has that been there? I don't even know how long that's been there. Holy cow. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Oh, the demand for residential has gone up even more. All right, so let's do residential. Where are we going to do this? Right there. And right there. Perfect. We'll put that residential in there. I think... Mm, yeah, I think we're okay there. I want to put the road in here and then we'll take you go up to here and then we'll go there and I should probably connect the power line up because uh, people are gonna be out of power here uh, I just okay so let's hook up the power line but where's the best place to do that probably right there actually and we'll just go to there which means I can demolish that power line and get it out of the way perfect all right, so that should, yeah, we're good there. We're good. So we'll put in some more residential right there as well. That'll expand our residential out a little bit. Come move to my city, everybody. I'm gonna speed that up. It takes a while if it's on normal speed. Perfect. That's looking awesome. What was that? Oh, that's probably the bell from the little church thingy in the cemetery. In the crematory. Uh, wow. Uh, Anna Harvey Street. Javier Selby Street. Eh, useless street. <laughs> this is awesome. I'm so glad I can name roads. That's so cool. Wow, our city is actually getting there. Uh, what is our density? Or our levels are actually fairly high. What about, what about our land values? Land values are going up as well, which is awesome. That's exactly what I want because then I get more taxes. More tax income from them. Uh, does this grant me anything good? No, it just brings in more tourists. I'm not going to worry about that at the moment because we're not making a ton of extra money. So I'm not going to be super concerned about that. Uh, I feel like I need to put a road or something in right there because that is a lot of useless land. Actually, I'm going to start upgrading the roads. That will help increase land values now that we've unlocked these fancy roads. We'll just drag Main Street out. There we go. And then do that, 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 and then upgrade this road here as well. I like these fancy roads. They make everything look so pretty in our city. All right, so we'll do that. Ah, we'll do it through here too, why not? I don't know how much this is charging me though. Oh, it's getting kind of big. Probably, it is a little expensive to do this, so we'll leave it at that at the moment. Oh, is that making everybody upgrade again? Did that increase my land values? That is not my land values. That's transport. There's my land values. 
Wow, land values are really high, like right in here for some reason. But they're actually going up more and more over in these areas as well, so that's good. We need more residential, though. A lot more residential. Like, there's a lot of people wanting to move in here right now. And those will help increase land values over here as well. If I upgrade these roads. It makes my city look so pretty. I love it. We are investing in the future of our city. And making it look pretty. It's a pretty city. There we go. That'll help increase land values anyways. Increasing land values because there's fancy pretty streets. Yes. That is looking pretty good actually. Sweet. Well, unfortunately, guys, that is about all I have time for in this episode. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Let me know you enjoyed it. Um, like I said earlier, if you have a suggestion for a street name, leave it in the comments below. Or if you have any ideas for the city in general, leave it in the comments below. Let me know what you think we should do with the city because, I mean, it's going well so far, but I need input. So let me know. And as always, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this wonderful adventure. And I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.